Hi, I had a dream that I would like to share with you guys. I had it a couple months ago, but it just keeps coming back to my mind over and over again. I'm not completely sure of all the interpretation of it, but I'm going to go ahead and post it any, anyway. And if you guys, if something comes to your mind about it, if the Holy Spirit shows you something, then please share it. I dreamed that me and my husband and my whole family, we were behind some apartments. Um, I guess we lived in the apartments in the dream. I'm not sure about that, but we were behind some apartments, and there was maybe 100, 150 people gathered. And I don't know who all those people were, but we were uh, just talking and just fellowship, and maybe like a church family would. Uh, off to my left side, uh, beside the apartment, not beside the apartments, in front of the apartments, but I mean behind the apartments, but beside them. There was um, a fence, and inside the fence was green piping, and the piping just went uh, in different directions. And the piping had like barrels, small barrels built into the pipe at certain points along the piping. And when I talked to my husband about it, he said that that was for cooling. The pipes were for water, and the barrels were to cool the water, like maybe at a nuclear plant or something like that. I've seen this type piping before, but I don't remember where. Maybe on the side of a road somewhere, but it was, in my dream, it was completely fenced in. And um, in front of us, there was a body of water, like maybe a narrow river. Uh, but I could see, and we, I think the apartments was on the outskirts of a city, in the city, but right on the outskirts of it. And um, all of a sudden, we were just out there laughing and talking, and all of a sudden, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you this, across the waterway was a city, a city skyline. We could see the, the tall buildings, uh, you know, the whole cityscape from where we were and we were just talking and it was it was at night uh, but there was a lot of light where we were uh, street lights or whatever and across uh, across the waterway the city the city buildings started exploding one by one and it was like I, I couldn't see no airplanes and I couldn't see no bombs dropping but the tops of the buildings, about halfway down the building, all the way up, just burst into flames. I mean, it was just huge, massive explosion. Very targeted. One building at a time would explode. And we just stood there and just unbelief. Me and my husband watching this. I don't know what the others were doing at that time because we were just so focused on these exploding buildings. And my husband started running kind of down the waterway just, to, to, you know, to look, looking at, the, he just couldn't believe his eyes watching this, these buildings explode in this city. And I, don't, I have no idea what city it is, and I don't, the, sh the closest city I live to is Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm about an hour away from there. I'm not, I'm not saying it was Charlotte. I don't know where it was. I don't think it was Charlotte. But, um... He ran down through there looking at it, and, 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 and I followed him. And then we turned around, and we started to go back. back and, and it just continued. It, it was past the tree line. We couldn't see the, the explosions no more, but we could still hear. So we knew that, that the whole city was under siege, was what we thought. The whole city is under siege. And the, the explosions just kept going. And, uh, and as we turned around and went back toward the people, all of a sudden, the green piping began to explode, except I didn't see any fire there. There was no fire. It was just that all those green pipes just began to explode. And pieces of those pipes was just flying, metal was just flying through the air toward those people. And I started shouting, you know, come on, come on, come on, follow me. And what was weird about it was, they were talking and laughing. It was as though they did, wasn't aware of any of it. I don't believe they were. I don't think they were aware of the city exploding. I don't think they were aware of it. So, so I'm not sure if that has literal significance or spiritual uh, significance. But obviously, me and my husband was leading them because we were saying, "Come on, come on." And they and everybody started coming, but they, some of them were laughing and talking. And some of them had serious looks on their face, but none of them were like Tara, 
you know, great fear like would be if, if you were in a city under siege, you know, you, your face would, would show terror, you know, great fear. Uh, and I just remember thinking, I don't know where Obama's going to explode next. I was thinking how to lead these people safely. And then that was it. I woke up. So after thinking about this dream and discussing it, you know, with my family, uh, you know, I'm still not sh completely sure about everything, whether it's spiritual significance or, or literal. We do know that destructive times are coming. You know, and I do believe that the, the city exploding was literal. Personally, I do. I may be wrong. I believe, I believe it, it did represent literal destruction that we know is coming. We know that we live in the last days, and I talk about that in my videos. And, and we know that, that, that hard times are coming. But I believe that the... The green pipes, I believe that represented the church. I really do. Uh, I believe it represented how, you know, with the false church and, and, and just, you know, the false leaders and, and how the church has grown so cold uh, and worldly. I believe that, you know, I do believe it was the church because the wa it was water running through. But, but yet the pipes had cooling barrels on it. To, it was like... You know, it made me think, you know, of the Holy Spirit that runs through the church, but how the church keeps the Holy Spirit contained and keeps it keeps the Holy Spirit quieted down instead of just letting God have his way and letting God be God in our midst, how the church has. I do believe that the, I believe that the dream is, you know, is God, you know, a warning telling us, you know, because he says that, you know, the Bible says that nothing happens unless he first reveals it to his prophets and not that i'm claiming to be a prophet but you know and it also says you know that that you know in the last days you know there would be lots of dreams and visions and prophetic words that god would speak to his people so you know the lord you know i have a lot of dreams about earthquakes and that type thing i think in another video i am going to share one about an earthquake even though i don't believe it's necessarily a literal earthquake but um you know, I do believe that, you know, hard times are definitely coming. And I believe that the work that God's going to do, there is going to be some destruction, but it's going to be it's going to be for, for good, too. You know, if you can wrap your brain around that and understand it, I believe that there is going to be a great uh, shake into the church. And the church, I know it is. I know that the church is, go is going to be burst loose, if you will. The Holy Spirit is going to be loosed and released in the church amongst God's people. And the glory of, of God is going to fill the churches again. But some things has got to crumble first. Some, there's going to have to be some explosions. And, and I think that's what God is, is talking about. But, uh, you know, God wants us to keep our eyes on Him and love Him and draw close to Him and just trust Him. And, let, you know, just, just you know, let God have his way in your life and pray for the church, you know. I do pray for the church of Jesus Christ, you know, all of the whole church as a whole, all the denominations and just everybody who, uh, you know, claims to be a Christian who, who uh, is a part of the church of Jesus Christ. You know, pray for them. Pray that, uh, that, that they'll be separated from the world, the worldliness, and the false church, and will just fall in, madly in love with Jesus, and will cling to the Lord. Uh, if anybody has anything that you'd like to add, if you see something in this that I, I didn't see, then I would love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye bye.